I gave a talk this morning about what's a random number and why should you care? And we established that, I think, to everyone's satisfaction, there's no such thing as a random number. Unfortunately, that, that was really cool. That was nice and simple, all over within a few minutes at the beginning of the 90-minute slot. And then suddenly everything went dark. Well, my screen did, and so did what I was projecting. I thought, oh, power cut in the room. Oh, well. Looked up. Everything else was still on. I thought, thinking about it, I did hear this little noise from the direction of my laptop. I tried pressing the power button, nothing. Loads of uh, support guys came charging in. We tried different power sources and things. Didn't work. After much faffing, managed to get some slides on my husband's laptop. Thank you, Steve. Unfortunately, didn't have all the right fonts there, didn't quite work out, and didn't have time to recompile the examples. And without a laptop, I've still not been able to. So we were going to see some blobs randomly racing out of a paper bag. Unfortunately, they didn't. We just had blobs walking out of a paper bag before the catastrophic hardware failure, which tells us why random numbers are actually cool, because they make things more fun. I'll try and get together some little shorts for YouTube and share what you would have seen had I not broken my laptop this morning. I'm going to press another button. It occurred to me once I'd wrapped up with this slide and said, well, there would have been a demo, and my time is up. I'd missed out two slides. So I've coded my way out of a paper bag on several occasions, and I'd written them up in a previous book. I think a few of you have read it. If you'd like to know more about machine learning or AI, come and talk to me. Kevlin's quite right. Loads of it's a lot of nonsense. But you can solve some interesting problems. Most of it really is doing some statistics and guesswork and just seeing if things work or not. This is cool stuff. If you can code you out of paper bag, come and tell me. Maybe you can do a little talk about it, another lightning talk, another day. And the important thing I was going to say this morning is I've been practicing some C++, trying to get back up to speed with all the recent standards. And it's tremendous fun if you actually code a little example of something. And I've therefore started writing a C++ book. So Manning have given me a discount code. But you can apply that to any of their other products, and it's valid for a couple of weeks from today. You can buy my book if you want. And there is a chapter in there on how to code your way out of a paper bag, of course. But there are loads of other books up there. And I just wanted this opportunity to share the two slides I forgot this morning due to adverse circumstances. And I haven't broken Pete's laptop, so there we go.